Welcome back to IBL's South by Southwest Expert Showcase. I'm joined by Minnell, who just published a new book. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your book sure. and what you're up to? Yeah. Hi, everyone. It's really a pleasure to be here. So I am the author of Equity, How to Design Organizations Where Everyone Thrives. And it's a book that's trying to make DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion, as practical as possible. So really talking about how do we take these theories that was born out of academic traditions and operationalize them in you know, either the business world or the nonprofit sector or any other company that we're working with. That sounds incredible. So who is going to be reading this book? Who should read this book? I think any leader in an organization will get something out of this because we talk a lot about the importance of leadership in DEI, but if you're even managing a team or a department, you're going to be able to take um, tips from this in how you can translate the change you want to see in the world into some really practical, observable behaviors in your company. Incredible. And tell yeah. us a little bit about you, sure. um, like anything background wise or why you felt compelled to create this book. Sure, sure, sure. So I am, well, I'm an author now. Yes, you are. Pleasure. Author middle. <laughs> I, uh, I am also the founder of a company called Brevity and Wit, mm. which is a strategy and design firm dedicated to designing a more equitable world. Mm. Um, and we work with you know a host of companies from like public media to nonprofits to professional services firms and do some really great work in graphic design, communications and marketing, as well as organization design. So how do you design your organization? Uh, and I wrote the book actually because of my husband. So if you have time for a story. Yes, we uh, <laughs> do. Let's hear the story. My husband is a firefighter and paramedic. Which we joke is the opposite of what I do on a daily, right? Like it's the opposite of diversity. And he uh, has great stories about people who are change resistant and do not want to do new things. Mm. And my favorite story for, of his is about three firefighter captains who went to a diversity conference where one of the speakers used the word queer. And this was about five, ten years ago. Mm. And the captain was like, we, no, I'm sorry. They used the word LGBTQ. Mm. And the captain was like, what does Q stand for? And the speaker said queer. And the captain was like, are you kidding me? I literally got called onto the carpet 10 years ago for using that word. And I'm sure the facilitator explained how queer had been reacclimated by the LGBTQ community, and now it's a positive term. All of that fell on deaf ears. This captain came home from a three-day conference and told all the guys in the firehouse, guys, we can say queer again. <laughs> Wow. Like, that's his takeaway. And that, that story always makes me laugh because I can empathize with the captain yeah. for whom like, the goalposts were changing while he was yes. literally putting out fires, right? Yes. And then I sort of laugh with despair for DEI practitioners like myself because I was like, is that the takeaway from these three-hour workshops, from our courageous conversations, from our like reading lists? And are we you know, assuming that you have to engage in a one hour conversation about gender fluidity to be an inclusive um, or good person these days, which I don't think is a practical way to approach this work. Um, a much more practical way would just be like, listen, firefighters, when you are out in the field, the level of professionalism that is expected is to ask somebody, what are your pronouns? And then to use whatever pronouns they say. That's it. Like, because my husband, does not want to have a one-hour conversation about gender fluidity, even though I'm always down for that. Yeah. And he doesn't want to do that even though he did all of the housework and errands while I wrote the book. So what are we arguing about then? Yes. Right? right? So the book is looking to take all of those ideas and make them as practical as possible for people. That's incredible. It's, it's a framework. It's very practical. It's going to help a lot of people. Yeah. So congratulations. And where could our viewers find you? Yeah. So you can find me on the web. At, <laughs> <laughs> um, so the book you can get wherever books are sold. But we also have a website called theequitybook.com that has an equity toolkit. It has more resources for you if you're interested. Uh, Brevity and Wit is at brevityandwit.com. Uh, I am Minnal Bopaya. I am the only Minnal Bopaya on the internet. So you can always find me. I am most active on LinkedIn, so you can catch me there. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today, Minnal. Like, I really am excited to say, see the way this impacts the world. Thank you. Thank you for having me, Johnny. All right. Thanks, Minnal.